Hello, Omar. Happy Wednesday. How are you? Hi, Renee. Doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing so, so good. I'm really excited to sit down with you today and give you your official welcome to eXp Realty. Thank you. So welcome. And then we were just chatting a few minutes ago. Can I share the news? That What was our contingency for this meeting? Yeah, you can go ahead and share the news. Well, so when Omar and I were talking the other day about getting together on Zoom, Omar said, yes, I can, as long as my wife doesn't go into labor. Yeah. <laughs> so on call uh, any minute now. So we'll see, or any day, we'll see what happens. So exciting. Well, be sure to let us know at any point when you get that call. <laughs> I will. I will. When you dart off, we will understand. Awesome. So you just joined EXP Realty very recently, and I wanted to sit down and just learn a little bit more about you and your team. Share with everyone a little about yourself and your background. All right. Well, um, I was born in Puerto Rico. Uh, my family decided to leave there when I was three and relocated to Miami, Florida. Um, so from there, um, I didn't know no English. So uh, I was learning the language. Um, and then my mom, I remember... They held me back in kindergarten twice and uh, for that reason. And then my mom told me that the way I started learning English is uh, I fell in love with um, American sports, baseball and football. And she said, I just literally used to sit there and just watch sports. And then she saw a transformation where I started speaking more English than Spanish. Um, so from there, uh, that love grew. Uh, that helped me um, get into uh, very good college, um, went to the University of Miami, played sports there. And um, I always knew I had, my passion at that time was to go further into my sports career. Um, by my junior year, I decided I, I kind of didn't care for sports anymore. The love wasn't there. Uh, I wasn't excited to wake up anymore. So I always had a passion for real estate um, just because I'm a, I love history as well and history and uh, real estate kind of always went hand in hand do. so um i started reaching out. one of my uh one of my buddies that i played baseball with in college uh his dad was a big developer so kind of followed him around a little bit and started getting kind of got me into the business and then from there um i branched off and went into property management uh short-term rentals uh, over in the Davenport area. And then from there on out, I kind of, what made me want to get my license is that at that time, that's when the market was really hot. Um, agents were making 10% commission on $300,000 homes, et cetera, $500,000 homes. And, not. and then by the time they sat down with me, the property manager, uh, manager, they would sit, I would literally sit there and just say, listen, I don't know what your agents told you, but what I don't know what your mortgage payments are, but just to let you know that your return on your investment will be so much percentage. And a lot of people, when I sit down with them, they say, oh, well, my real estate agent said that it will cut, that all these rentals will cover my mortgage every single month. I said, I gotta tell you, that's, that's not true. It might cover at least two to three months. And it depends what your financial situation is. I don't know what your financial situation is. Yeah. So. When I started Very doing this, pulling the accountant with these these investors, right? Pull in that accountant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it it got to the point where I'm like, you know, these these real estate agents are making loads of money and just lying to their clients. Um, so I went out and got my real estate license and uh, went into the same, uh, got my real estate license, and then went into the same market and then sold three houses at half a million and then the market collapsed. So uh, I, I learned perfect really timing, fast. Omar, perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, it was it was kind of uh, I learned really fast on my feet. And um, it wasn't until about I was always I was never in the business, um, not until finally started getting the business three years ago. Main reason is went to real estate school, but they teach you how to pass the state exam, not how to sell real estate not how to run a business. Um, and then one day I remember I was just sitting there and I had a friend call me and she was like, listen, um, I'm starting a team up at Keller Williams. Are, are you interested? I'm like, well, I said, I'll sit down with you and we'll go from there. And then me and Mercia, we started a team at Keller Williams. Um, every, it went really good. And I actually learned how to run a real estate group, 
how to run a real estate company, how, how to do things the correct way. Um, so it took me many years to actually sit down and, and figure that out. Yeah. Um, and then that didn't work out between her and I. Um, I was running the team a little bit more and I, I just, I sat down with my team leader at the time and I, we had a heart to heart and I just saw it was a little bit toxic. So I decided to dissolve that relationship. And Sometimes then, uh, paths just get, you know, what I like to say is when you're, you can have amazing relationships and, and we all know we've, we've been with different brokerages, right? And yeah. I don't, I appreciate so much the journey into which brought me to where I am today. And you know what? The reality is that was with different brokerages and sometimes you make an adjustment. Sometimes it may have been because there was a pain point or you weren't happy. You know what else, Omar? A lot of times agents who make an adjustment, they can be perfectly happy, but they just realize that there's an opportunity there that's so massive that you just can't say no to it. Yeah. And, and we, I feel we should all be very respectful and appreciative of, yes, there were other brokerages in my past. And you know what? To this day, I look at them and say, thank you. Because I, I'm grateful yeah. that the journey brought us and I'm grateful we walked that path for a while and I wish everyone the best to say, here we go, we're going in, in this direction. Yeah, and I agree with you 100%. Um, uh, the, the journey that has gotten me to where I am today, I'm, I'm definitely appreciative of. I, I learned a lot uh, through it and, and I made a lot of friends. Uh, and me and that lady that decided to separate, we, we're still on good terms. Uh, we we're just, I was, we were very upfront and honest with each other and I just, and I, to me, one thing I, I understand whenever we get together and create a business or a group, I mean, that's essentially a marriage. Yeah. Um, and if it's just not working out, I'd rather just dissolve it straight away instead of just going into and letting it get toxic. And of course, we don't know what else can, uh, it can take you many other different ways that you probably don't even want to go. So uh, we it's ended that relationship. Do you think it's important to to be able to? You had mentioned earlier about you were just feeling not excited to get up in the morning, and isn't it isn't it just such a testament to be able to say I want to enjoy knowing Monday's coming? I mean, of course we love our downtime, of course we love our family time, but I love Mondays, and it sounds so funny and tongue in cheek, but it's the reality is if you love what you're doing and you are excited to come to work every day, it completely shifts not only your mindset, but your whole being within your profession. No, exactly. You, you hit the nail on the head. And I mean, th this is a tough, uh, it's a very tough profession. I was talking to a guy who might be joining my team and I told him, I said, listen, man, it, it's, it's a battle between you and you. You literally got to get up in the morning and motivate yourself. And I told him kind of what, what I did. Well, I have two real estate coaches. So I, I kind of tell them what, when I sit down and talk to them, uh, they give me, they tell me what I should do in the morning. And then I do research and I, I do the same thing, but it's, it's a constant battle uh, when you wake up sometimes. Then um, my Monday actually starts on Tuesday because our Monday is family day. Uh, so because we have a you. restaurant, yeah, we own a restaurant too. So our restaurants close on Monday. So that's our day that me and the family just do whatever we need to do or just relax at home. So, And that is so important to be able to have that flexibility and to be able to have the discipline too, to know that you have to take time for yourself and you have to allocate time for your business as well. Yep. Uh, so share with me a little bit about what drew you to consider eXp Realty and, and what are you most excited about with eXp as far as how eXp is enhancing your business? Um, I first found out about eXp through my sister. Um, she was moving to North Carolina. She was actually with Remax and then she went to eXp. And I remember when I was at her house, uh, she just sold her home in Fort Myers and, uh, I needed to use a computer for, to write some contracts. And then I'd go on a computer. I'm like, what are you doing playing video games in here? What the heck is this? And it was eXp. <laughs> World. And she goes, no, that's the new real estate company. I'm with eXp. And I was playing around with her, um, with her, I guess, emoji or, or her person, whatever. I'm like, can you just yeah. go out to people and just slap them and stuff? What can you do? She goes, you're an idiot. She goes, so it's, so that that's how I first, I found out about eXp, but I didn't find out about eXp. Um, I was actually in an open house with, uh, and with the title agent. And we started talking because I started talking to her about, I come, I came, Keller Williams has taught me a lot. 
uh, from the systems. But they said, you know what, th there's other things. I was in the middle of going through my brokers and get my broker's license. So, and I was talking to her about what I would like doing to see a company go and how I, I want to create my real estate brokerage. And then she brought up, she said, have you ever heard of eXp? I said, I don't think I have. Um, and then I went out and I was in the car and I called my sister. I'm like, remember, I said, are you with eXp? She goes, yeah, that's, I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I looked at my sister, I'm like, do some research on eXp and then get back to me. Uh, so she got back to me and got some research done. And then I started talking and then, um, started going from there when and you guys I think were doing your uh, when you I'm just I'm so eager to hear when you did your research and you were learning what what really set it apart what was that one tipping point where you said oh my goodness that because I, I like to say with eXp we have a fire hose of offerings mm -hmm. we have a fire hose of tools and systems and 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 we need to have all of those right because it enhances yeah. the experience for the customer what was that one thing with eXp that you said, that's it, I cannot wait to implement that in my business and how amazing that it's provided to me? I think the the, the thing was for me, it was uh, the profit sharing. I'm sorry, the, the stocks, the stocks and then the creating the team. Um, that the, the, Those were the two things that really drew me in because one with with me having a family, um, yes, I have. I have the re we have the restaurant we have we own properties and stuff but i'm like what else can i leave my kids yeah. uh that that was my two daughters uh mm -hmm. what is it that i can really leave them just in case something happens to me and mom mm -hmm. uh just so i can start building for them in their future and then the, the team aspect of, of it as well and what i liked it about it a little bit more is every real estate agent is going to conduct their business differently. I get that. And some of them are probably going to be in a situation where they have to work a little bit more from home than anything else. Well, at least we can go into one of the rooms. Like whenever I meet with Jeff, we go into, uh, he says, meet me in this room and we'll have a chat and whatnot. So, and I, I think that's, I think that's awesome. How I can just get the group together and just do that. Um, wish I would have known that a little bit earlier. I, I have an office right now. <laughs> uh, assistant work out of but you know the, as the team grows as I grow my team then I, it'll be something for me to consider and I'll speak to the team about it uh what is it that you guys what would fit us best you know yeah. would it be the work from home at, atmosphere and then we get together or, or what is it that will make you guys excited kind of to be working together and with EXP so. so what you're saying is such a valuable point that the glory and the amazing fast track of success that you're on is that you have choices, right? And so what, right. what Jeff and I have found to be so awesome for our team is that EXP is focused on ensuring that we as agents can run and operate our business as we see fit and as it works for our own groups, as long as we're compliant, obviously. Um, and so when you mention Office, for example, yes, eXp is a cloud-based brokerage. Awesome. We all, eXp agents, get to leverage the cloud, and we do every single day. Um, it's what I attribute one of the key pieces to the business that has increased our business the way it has in the last year. But also, um, Jeff and I have, have found it to be really beneficial to run a hybrid. So at this point, we, st we have an office. There is a brick-and-mortar office here. We assume that responsibility for that office, not EXP. You know, it's it's at our financial responsibility. But there, there is a misconception, though, that, well, EXP is a cloud-based office. There are no brick and mortars. Actually, there are, there can be uh, some agents choose to run a hybrid the way we do. So you're doing that now, but you may find you, you, you don't have to. We have the cloud. So it's an amazing resource um, that we meet with our team every day, Monday through Friday in the cloud. How awesome that they can just pop on their phone and attend a meeting and not miss a beat. No, exactly. Yeah. And I agree with you hundred percent on that. So I, I, it'll be exciting. What once, once I think I, we can actually start using that a little bit more and um, that tool. So yeah, for sure. Share with us a little bit about your business in the Orlando area. What markets do you focus on and, and what's your background on the real estate side? You know, we really don't focus up. One thing I learned from, um, from being at Keller Williams when you we used to prospect for three hours and when we prospected uh it, it would be more than just Orlando um and I I know I know Orlando well I also know Polk County well because my family left when they left Miami they moved to Polk County when I was 13 so 
I kind of went to high school out here, went to middle school out here. So I know the area. I feel comfortable in Orlando and in, um, and in Polk County. So we focus, our focus is Central Florida. Right now we have listings all the way from downtown Orlando to Lake Wells, Florida at the moment. Um, so okay. it, that, that's what we focus on, Central Florida. That That's so good to hear. And what an amazing place it is to live. I mean, how blessed are we that we get to have all of the amazing, whether it's the um, theme park side of our, our area or even people don't realize. I mean, we have the Performing Arts Center and we have so many wonderful things. Uh, Jeff and I have lived, well, I've lived here. I shouldn't say Jeff. Jeff's lived here longer, but I've lived here 18 years now and I love it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I love Orlando. <laughs> and I, I, I love Central Florida. It's it's definitely. Uh, we call it. We're we're calling it home. Uh, my wife and I. We're looking right now in the um, Claremont area to. We're looking at some land right now that we're going to be building a, a custom custom home as well. So building our own house. So it'll be nice. So that's so cool. Anywhere. So what are you most excited about in your f future business goals? You know, the biggest thing I'm excited about is bringing, bringing quality team members on. Right now, I, I'm, I have so many, I have a lot, I have 18 buyers that I'm working with, so I'm running around like rampant. Um, I need help, but I did it to myself and I did it on purpose because I wanted to make sure that I had enough revenue coming in to take care of my assistant. So I, I hired her first. Um, and then now I definitely need a buyer's assistant to help me out um, because there's no way I can keep up with this. Uh, so I'm really excited just about building up the team and kind of seeing where it goes. That's so great. And I will love to stay with you in that process. And of course, you know that Jeff and I are always here to uh, assist you in any way. Um, we've we've traveled that path, Omar. I mean, we're, we're approaching our third year as a team. Uh, and it has been the most awesome journey together. And uh, we, we certainly are here for you throughout your journey as well. And I'm super excited to hear all these success that you've had already. That's great news. Well, thank you. Thank you. No, and you and Jeff have been awesome uh, reaching out to me and just uh, making sure that I'm okay and, and making sure that transition's taken off. So. Yeah. Well, we're in it together, my friend. We're in it together. So we touched on Orlando a little bit. I'd love to hear what is your favorite thing about living in the Orlando Central Florida area? Um, my favorite thing, outdoors. Uh, I'm a big outdoors guy. Um, I love hunting. I love fishing. I love kayaking. I love hiking. So I love how we're I live close, we live right there in Claremont, so we can just pop on over to a couple of the parks or go down to Polk County um, and just I even love just taking out the four wheeler and just running around in mud, uh, you know, so that that's what I love about Central Florida, just going outside and enjoying the beautiful weather that we have in the nature. So true. And then I think sometimes that uh, people who are from other states don't realize, particularly when you live in Central Florida, we have that flexibility that our weekend trip could be so many different locations. Living in Central Florida, we have great proximity for quick getaways all over the state two coasts no all exactly all. yeah yeah i mean you could be in coco within 45 minutes or in tampa within an hour and a half or right. go even further i mean i went uh two weekends ago i was down in uh, south florida back home for, uh, to see a friend of mine i was there within two and a half hours so I just did a one-day trip hung out with him and came back the next day so and it was it was great i mean the, yeah south florida just living in central florida is just so many options to do well, my friend, I want to just express again, Jeff and I are thrilled to be in business with you. And we know 2019 is going to be just an epic year for us all. Uh, would you like to share with everyone how they can get in contact with you? Absolutely. So you can reach me on my cell, uh, 407-883-2989. Or um, also I'm on Facebook as well. Uh, and my email address is omar at theandreasongroup.com. Very well. Well, keep on keeping on. You're doing a great job and we will uh, get together with you soon. Let's keep the conversation going. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time, Renee. Welcome to EXP. Thank you. See Take you tomorrow. Care. Let us know about the baby. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. <laughs> your wife. We'll talk soon. All right. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye, Omar. Bye.